Host City Frankfurt is welcoming experts in standardization to the fourth day of the IEC General Meeting. My personal highlight from today, uh, I think, is the presentation uh, by the European Commission uh, of the Joint Initiative on Standardization and the importance of standardization at the international level. Well, I was really impressed by the reinvention lab, that it's important to reinvent also standardization. And that's a perfect base to really work on the future with digitalization. At the reinvention lab, a circle of high-level representatives discussed the topic content management and content delivery and standardization. The speakers agreed that the way standards are processed and presented to the customer has to change. If we don't do it, somebody will do it for us. The digital transformation will change processes. Machine-readable standards for direct use and engineering systems, for example, would simplify the application of standards. In order to be more effective, connecting was mentioned as another factor. My hypothesis today is that if we are going to connect our communities effectively, we need to have connected standards. Standards work together with each other and deliver a holistic product to our user community. The panel came to the conclusion that standards have to be more flexible to meet a variety of expectations and needs. Today the TC62 Electrical Equipment and Medical Practice held its plenary meeting. The importance of future medical equipment was discussed. As the necessity for security of data and systems is tremendously increasing, it needs to be interoperable. One of the main priorities tamper-proof data for the safety of the patient and secure data for privacy. We also have uh, new topics in the field of health software and security for medical devices. So we ensure that there is a kind of defined level of safety for all kind of medical electrical equipment around the globe. And the second benefit of our work is that manufacturers can declare conformity based on these safety standards to apply medical device regulations in Europe, United States, Japan and elsewhere on this earth. The goal is to encourage thinking in medical systems instead of medical devices. At the general meeting, partners from the industry showed their way of looking into the future. Phoenix Contacts is introducing the virtual twin. In the world of Industry 4.0, each and every component consists of a physical product and the virtual image of this product. A digital twin. The virtual image of the product consists of all information about the product which is accumulated through the life cycle. Adding physical products means bringing the information to a next level. If I take a, a DIN rail with different terminal blocks like this, this DIN rail, the physical DIN rail consists of single components, single terminal blocks. But there is also a virtual image now in the digital world which is created based on all information of the single components, creating a new virtual image of the complete component. This kind of virtual image is what we are calling the digital twin of the physical product. The idea? Bringing standardization into the picture. Using a digital twin of a standard to test the digital twin of the product against the standard, which is helping to assure the quality of the physical product. To do that, a digital standard is needed, which can be read by machines. And that is the next step in the way how we are creating digital standards in the future, which is creating a lot of benefits for the users, a lot of benefits for our industry, and which is definitely the next step of the digital value chain of the production or of the industry. Again, another valuable day of networking and shaping future innovations at the IEC General Meeting. IEC General Meeting 2016 Connecting Communities. Reinvent Standardization.